Hello YouTube, welcome back. Um, as you might be able to guess from what you're seeing right now, I'm not at the farm at the moment. I'm out in my backyard in my house in Sydney, having a look at the things I've uh, been used to growing for the last oh, 25 odd years. Um, my rose bed at the back of the house. And um, these are standard hybrid tea roses and uh, they're my picking bed which means the bushes are ugly but they've got nice long stems for picking and they make a lot of friends and family quite happy not quite as happy as macadamia nuts and that is the subject of why i'm doing a video and not waiting till i get back to the farm in order to do it um because the leading players or two of the leading players have just come out with their macadamia price and I'd love to say to you it's good news, but it's not. It's um, uh, a price that's come out from Wally's Nuts, which is one of the smaller players, um, which uh, Garth works for. And the biggest player, the largest macadamia nut processor in the world, which is Marquee. What's the price? $5.10. $5.10 for the standard nut in shell, which is 33% kernel, and 10% moisture. Now, uh, in the case of Wally's, that's a drop of a whole dollar a kilo since last season. Uh, 90 cents a kilo in the case of um, Marquis, which offered $6 before. So, um, $5.10. Um, harking back to my previous video on what I predicted the price would be, I was perhaps now optimistically hoping for a price in the range of $5.50 a kilo. Now at the time of uh, doing this video, we still don't have price offers from MWT, um, Pacific Farms, Suncoast Gold, um, and a couple of others that, uh, that don't, uh, don't come to mind at the moment. Oh, and of course Starman. Now Starman usually seem to come in at a bit more lucrative they, they seem to have been after market share in recent years and um, last year for example they were offering six dollars twenty for the standard nut in shell um, but it remains to be seen whether they're still after market share and whether they want to take that off the major player which is marquee by beating their price so i've got the feelers out um, but the reason I'm not waiting for those numbers before making this video is that really the price is set by the market leader and the market leader is marquee. So a drop of $6 to $5.10. Uh, there's no explanation for it in the, uh, in the um, website. Uh, no explanation in the Wally's offer either. Uh, they mention general market conditions. However, I had read on a couple of uh, South African sites that you know their prediction for the price was for it to go down a little uh, partly because there's an, a bit of a supply bottleneck of macadamia kernels in places that uh, are heavily COVID affected um, partly because of the shutdown of things like cafes and restaurants uh, which you know heavily used macadamia nuts for their desserts and in other aspects of their gourmet cooking so perhaps that's what's behind it uh, and perhaps it's the Australian dollar which is climbing closer and closer to 80 US cents meaning that in the world price for macadamia kernels um, whatever it is in US dollars translates to fewer Australian dollars which obviously get given to the farmers and the local processors here so Big news, $5.10 is a significant drop, almost rewinds the clock two or three years on the macadamia price from what was, admittedly, a historic high, probably an unsustainable high, down to something that will, to some growers, be a big kick in the pants. So, um, more on this as time develops, and we'll see what that does to the macadamia farm market which you know may have had some adjustments based on the sums that potential buyers do and what they think they can get for a crop. Uh, the heat might be somewhat taken out of that market as well. Um, 
that's uh, the news for now. I will do another update from the farm, which has had an absolute drenching, including a 103 millimeter drenching a few days ago, um, with more rain it seems to come. But uh, thank you for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.